Hey, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to try and create a track from uh, samples uh, from the page Intimate Noise. Um, they just released yesterday, I think, a free sample pack. You can download it. And all you need to all you need to know is that you have to actually subscribe to the newsletter to get the sample back. But when you download it, you got uh, you have three folders here: pads and drones, one shots, and sequences. And I want to try and create something. The link to the page um, will be in the description below. So let's listen to the samples. What we have here. So we already have some kicks we can use, that's nice. a nice loop for um, for a house track or something like this. Uh, maybe let's try this. So what speed is it? Let's switch to uh, raw so we have the real real speed. like it's 120 already. Okay, let's try one of these kick jumps here. Okay, that sounds nice. Maybe let's duplicate this um, this drum loop here and we use some of the heads inside this uh, loop. Duplicate again, and in this track, use the heads. <clears throat> the high heads. Okay. Okay, I switch this up.
Yeah, maybe let's try to bring up the, the transients with the transient control. Yeah, something like this. Okay, let's see if we have some nice drones and pets here. Okay, that sounds nice. I like it. Let's try the reverse function here. Um, yeah, and I use one of this um, Hornet plugin here, which says which um, nodes are used in the pad. It's C and A, which is pretty nice because we can now use the A as a baseline. I think that sounds okay. Okay, so we have a, a nice foundation for um, how see a deep house track, if you so will. Um, let's group up these um, these drums here. Call it drums, and we have the bass, and group the drum and the bass together. percussion maybe bring it in here and 
Okay, let's use a compressor on on the drums. I also tend to like to use the um, the smart smart compressor by Sonable, which I made a video about um, some weeks ago. It tries to find the right parameters just by listening to the material and I think it's um, the um, result is pretty nice. You just go uh, again go and um, use the parameters here, the smart confound and use it in the bitweek compressor. So we have, we have a threshold of minus 30 dB ratio of 2.2.1. Okay, the attack is 41. And we have a release of 91. So we can basically hide this. the smart comp on the drum and bass bus. the sequence a bit longer here use the same bass line and but I switch up the, the pet sound here because it's pretty static I make a small small change further um, maybe change the pad again just a slightly bit
Uh, something's missing here. I think there needs to be another chord. one of these bit shifters here, which I showed in the last video. I think a filter is okay. Small low pass. Also here on the FX section, FX section. Okay, let's take this. something like this. this as an uh, riser a bit quieter okay it's nice okay can use this too we cut all the low end out. There's a bit of free bob. OK, 
Okay, I think it's time for um, this is the pet, and this is what's this? Oh yeah, the clap. Let's move the clap into the drums and use this as FX group <coughs> and group everything together and call it all. And then we go and duplicate this. So, so we have another four bars of content. Ah yeah, let's try and modulate the cut of, of the low pass filter here a bit. Um, so there's a bit of movement. At the end we go. Um, totally off. Just bring in some some bit of movement. Um, there's a small bit of development audible. And mm, okay, what's now? What now? Um, ah, yeah. Let's create some polysynth to have some kind of lead sound or a bit of character. So we are on A. And lots of reverb. Modulators here, smoothing to 100%, and then we modulate some stuff. I'll go with the bitch.
Okay, I use one of these multi notes here and go with one octave below. Okay, I separate the loop here and maybe I change one of the nodes. something like this and um, yeah maybe let's join this and bounce it out post fader so now we change this a bit and use scale 50%. So we have now the same, um, the same loop, but just shorter or time stretched, if you will. Um, so it's playing uh, the double, double the speed and we layer it on top of the original sequence.
so now we bounce this too. And maybe go also with uh, time stretch it again. So now this this part is backwards. Okay, maybe we need some heads somewhere. Shuffle would be nice. So we go to the quantizer and add a bit of shuffle. Not too much. nice if we can just raise the decay at the end here. So let's do this. And also the white with at one of um, one of the, the minor chords. Oh, okay. That I don't need this. Oh, maybe.
And at the end, we switch to upwards. Maybe this down, up, down, up. Okay, let's record the, the cutoff here. Oh, that's a cutoff. Okay. So let's um, call this melody. So we don't need the melody everywhere, just in a in a part of the of the track. Okay, let's move to the, to the side chain. So we have an um, audio side chain here and use the kick drum. DB drums, where's the kick? I think that's the kick. Yeah. So on every time the kick uh, plays, we go down in the volume. And we duplicate this to every bus. Yeah, and maybe group this too. So this is to kick him and use also this volume tool on the base and on the tops here. So the kick drum now um, ducks every other channel. So now a small bit of quick mastering. So I use the Ozone Elements tool because it's pretty small. There are not all modules available 
just the image or equalizer, but, but I turned everything off and I only used the maximizer and we have this learn threshold function here at the, bot, at the bottom. And I use minus 10 LUFs and it analyzes the signal and then tries to find the right threshold to hit exactly the right target uh, volume or loudness. So I have just uh, headphones. Uh, I can't say if I'm in the right uh, loudness with all the frequencies, but I think um, you get it. just for an instrumental part. change the, the baseline here a bit so it's there's more drive there um.
Oh, we can actually also use the tool on the percussions here. I think that's it, um, small track. I think uh, what I do now is I exchange the smart comp um, and the ozone elements for a peak limiter. And then I save this project and then I will upload it and you can download it. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.